you did great, sweetie. <laughs> We're gonna do a 10 second spiel, and I know it's been a while, and life has been lifing, but nevertheless, we are back, and we are better than ever. For some reason, the lighting keeps being so dark when I'm at my desk, so I'm just gonna kinda sit here in the middle of my apartment, but long story short, I am on my ob guy rotation. This will be my first vlog on this rotation. We're on week three, so basically, we're pretty much halfway done, and in real time, I'm determining what type of vlog this is gonna be, but I think, I've decided it's going to be a weekend in the life of a medical student vlog. And so it is Thursday, but I actually have a night shift. So it's 4 p.m. right now, and my shift starts at 7.30 p.m. And it's 12 hours long, so it's going to be from 7.30 to 7.30, like 7.30 p.m. Thursday night to 7.30 a.m. Friday morning. And then Friday, I have a ton of lectures because one thing that they don't tell you about rotations in medical school is like, you think you're just going to be in the hospital and studying for tests and that's it. But no, you still have lectures and different presentations you have to give and PowerPoints and all this. So Friday, we have have a few hours worth of lectures that we have to attend and a lot of times it also coincides with the residence lectures so it's like a, a double win of like if you were to be in clinic um, on Friday like you get the morning off because the residents also get the morning off but for someone like me who's gonna be coming off of 12 hours it's gonna be kind of exhausting as soon as I get home I have to hop on lectures starting 8 a.m. Friday usually consists of um, or specifically after an overnight shift um, just the day consists of getting your sleep schedule back together because you're gonna sleep the whole afternoon because you know you didn't sleep all night um, and then after that like you can't miss a beat so Saturday and Sunday I will have a ton a ton of studying in three weeks I have my ob guide shelf rotation exam um, and we use or at least the people in my school we get to use UWorld um, and so that's what I also use and I have been trying to like grind on my UWorld and I just I messed up y'all I messed up and we missed a few days and like I've just been trying to get back at it the best I can. I will say this morning I've been grinding and I already did 50 euro questions and I wanted to catch up because yesterday I had an off day so I didn't get to do 50 yesterday So and I was supposed to do 20 today. So in reality, like by today, between yesterday and today I was supposed to have 70 done. Um, but at least we have 50 of those done. I think, honestly, I'm really not that behind. We're only halfway through the block and I don't have I only have like a hundred more euro questions to go in general I'm just trying to do a lot of work now before I feel too tired to do it later it's 4 p.m. and I'm actually about to go and get myself some food because I always like to treat myself before an overnight shift because I already know I'm gonna be just exhausted and like also your sleep schedule is messed up your eating schedule is messed up and usually on overnights, they, um, the residents and the attendings, they usually buy food. As a med student, you try not to get a full meal. Like whatever they buy, you usually get like fries or like a drink, a latte or something small. Uh, but nevertheless, it's something and I bring a ton of snacks. So I'm just gonna eat like a really early dinner because um, I also didn't really eat lunch. I tried to take a nap for the last like three hours and there's been no results, so that was uh, that that was a struggle. We're gonna grab some dinner and then uh, go from there. But I've, uh, I haven't even mentioned I still need to do my Anki, so that's where we are. Y'all, it is 4.30 and I did not intend for this to take as long as it did. But long story short, the meal I wanted to eat was no longer available, so we ended up at Shake Shack. And I am like, I have not had Shake Shack. And at this point, I can, genuinely say years i think i haven't had it since undergrad and in undergrad i wasn't like a routine customer so years actually just got to the hospital i just parked my car and uh, first off y'all i left way too early i usually for a 7 30 shift i'd probably leave around 7 um p.m like a 7 30 p.m shift i leave my place around 7 p.m however why was when i was putting my scrubs up i saw these huge deodorant stains comes to find out last time i wore that top i had it inside out 
so i have a mass of scrubs in my like bag that i need to like change out because basically at the hospital when you get the hospital like issued scrubs you can like switch them out as you please so i brought two pairs well not even two pairs i brought one full pair and i have the bottoms on to the other pair um so i'm gonna switch these out and so yeah i actually got to the hospital and it's 705 and my shift doesn't start until 7 30 so i'm about to walk over switch out my scrubs change mind you all of this is going to take five minutes so it's kind of funny that i got here this early but do all of that and then i'll be ready for my 7 30 p.m shift you guys and uh, i'm going to show you what i bring and what i wear because i like wear certain things when i have night calls and like bring certain things i'm going to show you once i get like situated in my little work room um and yeah so let me start walking so i have enough time to change these scrubs Scrubs were out of stock at the first machine I went to, so now we're gonna try another one. So hopefully they have my size and I can actually change. <laughs> a.m. Friday morning. This is the first time I've had a break. They're usually super nice and on this service they're like go sleep and stuff but like they get your number so if anything happens they'll call you. Um, but I just usually sit on the couch and try to like kind of stay awake um, just because I would rather be awake than like try to go to sleep and then feel disgruntled when I wake up <laughs> and just like not wake up because then, then they get mad at you if you don't wake up. So we really haven't had much. I'll talk more about the cases when I get home. But yeah, just to say it's like midnight, 1 a.m. And it hasn't been crazy eventful. Everyone's super nice on the service. And yeah, so I'm about to chill and probably do some flashcards. I have these. I love eating these. It's like a whole cup of coffee in this. So sometimes I eat these to stay awake and then I get like these little frappuccinos. So this is kind of like my means of staying awake. It says one bite is like a full like half cup of coffee. So if you don't drink coffee and like you don't wanna like, you still don't wanna drink coffee, I highly recommend these just to have like a tasty treat it's like just a chocolate snack it's 6 45 a.m and i just got dismissed technically my shift ends at 7 30 because that's when the shift change happens but usually residents will let you leave early especially if nothing's happening and nothing has happened in hours we had a patient at like 3 a.m come in um but it was a very quick fix. So it was more like they were just kind of concerned, but we were already treating them for like an infection, a bacterial infection. Um, so there was like nothing to do, to be honest. Y'all, when I was walking to my car, I walked to the wrong door of the parking garage, a door that doesn't open. It's like out only, not in. And so it's been a whole mess. It's time for me to go home and go to sleep. And then we'll talk about the night. <laughs> Good morning, you guys, and happy Friday. It's actually 5.30 p.m. Um, on Friday and let's just let's just recap what's been going on so I got home at around 7 yeah I got home at 7 a.m. this morning um, and last night was pretty chill honestly being on the gynecology service overnight is pretty chill we only saw like two patients we saw one patient in the emergency room and then we had another patient come in um, and I don't know I feel like it's kind of weird talking about gynecological cases but if you don't know what gynecology is in general it's like women's health reproductive system um and that's kind of all it involves before i left i actually needed the resident i was working with to fill out this like mid clerkship feedback form we have this here where our clerkships are six weeks long and after three weeks um whoever we're working with the most but it's been kind of weird with the ob because we're like somewhere different every day or every week but Whoever you're working with has to fill this out and it's like a feedback form and I don't know I always feel feedback is like kind of awkward especially when it's like people who are your age not your age but like very similar in age I don't know why this is so dark I'm sorry we got that done I actually need to upload it it's due today um and then also another form I've been filling out I'm like going ahead of myself but basically I got home I had lectures 
Luckily, the morning ones were canceled, so I was able to get a few hours of sleep before my 10.30 a.m. lecture. At a 10.30 a.m., then 11.30 a.m., and I was done at 12.30, and I will fully admit, a lot of the time was spent, like, laying in bed half asleep, uh, but nevertheless, I was there, and we kind of get a pass if we were overnight because everyone knows you're going to be super tired. And after that, I went to sleep, and so I didn't get out the bed until 5 p.m., and that's what brings us to this, and so I've just been uploading these documents. Um, we also have to fill out this like passport. It's like a timesheet because as we know, there's rules and regulations for how much time we can work. Um, so I just started filling that out for my first three weeks before I forgot. But honestly, the hours I'm clocking in with this rotation is like nothing compared to surgery. Cause surgery every four days we had a 28 hour call. And then y'all, I got a Fabletics package. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a, one of the Fabletics Scrubs ambassadors. And so by the time this vlog comes out, I honestly don't think I would have uploaded the picture for these scrubs, but just know they are very cute. I think I'm gonna make some breakfast and act like it's morning time, honestly. And then my cousin is actually having like this short film um, like viewing at 7 p.m. And so there was a strong emphasis that it's short. So I'm gonna try not to be late because I don't wanna come and then they're like, oh, the two minutes is up. But you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? After I come back from his like viewing, I actually try to get some work done. But to be honest, usually when you're overnight, you don't really get much done because like, you're just trying to get your sleep schedule back together. Good morning, you guys, and happy Saturday. Um, Right now, it's 10.03 a.m. And so I woke up a few hours ago and I've just been doing like being lazy, laying in, or not lazy, you know, just, uh, catching up on rest. I've been laying in the bed. I made myself breakfast and um, like cleaned up a little bit, but today has to be a grind because we already know nothing study-wise really happened yesterday. I was able to successfully like catch up on random like assignments I had to submit, but other than that, I didn't really get any studying in. Um, so today, a lot has to happen. Things have been trying to get in my way of this studying and stop me studying, um, including but not limited to the fact that I wanted to go to the main campus library, but today is the first home football game, so you already know it's gonna be packed and I won't be able to even find a parking spot unless I le left like two hours ago. Then I was gonna go to the med school library, but it's closed on Saturdays, um, so. Here we are. I do need to study and I do want to get out of my apartment just because I feel like I get kind of like, you know, you get a little complacent when you just sit at your like normal desk and you really want to work. So I think I'm just going to kind of find somewhere to study around my apartment building um, and then go from there. What I need to do is U World and Aki. That's what I need to do every day, but I want to get a ton, a ton done. Um, I have so many Aki cards to do. However, I have a hundred new cards that I haven't even seen yet. Um, for the last three weeks, I've just been slowly working through all of the Anking deck, which is like the master deck that everyone uses. And it has literally everything for step one, step two, sketchy, boards, like everything is on there. So I've just been slowly working my way through the OBGYN section. I have a hundred new cards left. So I just need to finish those. Other than that, I really want to get at the bare minimum 50 U worlds done, but usually if I start around this time, like if I'm starting before 2 p.m., I feel like I could do more U world. It's just after 50, I kind of just like sit around and say, whoo, you did great, sweetie. I just finished doing 25 questions and it is 12.15, so it took me around like two-ish hours to do those. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, it was rough. Um, I feel like a lot of times my issue is I get the question I feel like I try to answer it too quick rather than like going through the full thought process in my mind. Um, so I feel like that's my issue 90% of the time. And then I see the answer and I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm like halfway ish done with the bare minimum I want to do, which is 50 questions. So I'm going to take like a, probably like a 30 minute break and then I'm going to do the other 25. I think my goal would just be to slow down and really think about every piece of the question, even the unnecessary parts, because it's all for practice. Um, so it won't hurt me to think of everything out. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go back to my apartment and then take a break and then we'll be back. 3.47. Um, 
would love to see it. I've obviously been relaxing longer than I expected, but now that we're back, I make this like chocolate, um, what is this? Like a chocolate peanut butter smoothie that's really more like a, a shake that I have to eat with a spoon because it's so thick. Oh no, 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 chocolate banana peanut butter. Those are like my favorite things. But I just made myself this little shake and I'm about to get back to work. Um, remember, we already did 25 cards, so I'm hoping to really take my time, slow down, um, and really concentrate for this next set of 25. Um, realistically, y'all, I don't know if we'll get past 50 cards today, but we low-key have to because I actually have a jam-packed Sunday. We are going to try our hardest to get it done. I already have it pulled up because I've been meaning to do this for quite literally hours. And of course, I have no internet connection. It's dark. I'm really going through it. I'm about to get started. Eat some of my smoothie. This is like a treat to myself. And then uh, I'll be back. Hopefully, this goes better than the first set of 25 because my percentage was not, it, it wasn't good. Instead of doing 25 questions, I did 30 questions. It's now 525. Um... I don't know when the last check-in was, so I don't know how long it took me. Probably like an hour and a half, something like that. But in brighter news, I only have 64 more ob Gyn questions left. So that's so doable in the next two days. At the bare minimum, I should definitely be able to finish this in the next two days. It is now 9.36 p.m. And uh, I'm kind of proud of myself for I did do the extra 25 questions. I actually did 30. Um, I don't know. I just was I was feeling it. You know when you're in a groove and you can't stop it like that's that's what was happening so I did 30 questions and I Feel like I already told you guys this but let's fast forward So I made dinner and all of that jazz and I did some more Anki y'all and I'm proud of myself because this is the most Anki I kid you not I think I've done in the last month today. I did a whopping 146 cards if this will ever zoom in yeah so i did 146 cards but what i really want to show you guys was actually some notes i made so i actually did my ob guy notes before i started the actual rotation just because uh, i already know how hectic it gets once you're in rotation so it's just a lot easier to watch like boards and beyond which is what i did before we even started the rotation and then I made notes on I kid you not every single video but the last one and now I just refuse to do it these are my notes they are how many pages we have we have 21 pages basically and so I'm gonna be honest with you guys I have not looked back at these notes since I made them however um, once I finish my U world I do want to get started again with kind of like reviewing my notes routinely which means every few days at the bare minimum every week uh, and go from there but yeah i literally just write notes on every single boards and beyond video so first i did gynecology then second i did obstetrics and then they have like the first video was prenatal care or sorry the first video was normal pregnancy second prenatal care and then it just goes on and on and on if you guys know me you know i'm a notes gal and i love some good notes um so hopefully though i can you know actually get some use out of them i like to make notes because i like to be able to review everything in a continuous fashion rather than on anki in my flashcards, it's like random which is also good because you know when you get test questions it's not it's not continuous it's not like each question builds upon the other but every once in a while it is good to just review your information like that just so you can see everything in a clump instead of just getting like kind of one small portion of it um from a flash card that is everything for today it's now 9 40 p.m and i'm calling it quits good morning you guys and happy did you hear that good morning you guys and happy sunday it is like 1 p.m right now but i've been doing a lot you know we had to go to church this morning then i had to make a target run then we had to make a whole foods run as you can see all the groceries on the floor right now uh, and I had to get me some little flowers, of course. School-wise, honestly, I think I never talk about this much, but I since rotation started, it, life is a lot easier when you meal prep. And so I think what I'm going to do for the next few hours is meal prep. And so I usually make like five meals. Yeah, let's cook. Just like that, you guys, the day is actually over. 
it's 9 30 but i've been back for a few hours from my event i left at like 4 30 and got back at 7 and has since just been watching love island tomorrow i actually start in the ob guide operating room um and so there's like a ton of different procedures that happen and it's cool because we get to kind of like teeter-totter between uh, two hospitals. Because this is the night before, what always happens is they usually don't give you your assignments until very close because like, especially when it comes to operating room schedules, like things change very last minute, very quickly. Um, so we found out today, we got in contact with the resident we're working with and then now we are going, or now she's telling us like where to go and stuff like that. Um, and so even my schedule got changed an hour later and she was like, actually, sh I'm so sorry. This is what you're going to do now. I'll just be spending the rest of the night kind of reviewing what cases are happening tomorrow in addition to just further understanding like what the case entails. So before you go to the operating room, they like for you to know like not only what the procedure is, but like the steps of the procedure, like all the, the layers of the abdomen that they may be going through, the fascia, they like you to know kind of sometimes like what utensils not utensils but what like tools are being used and like a lot of times you want to know um kind of any contraindications for the procedure in addition to anything we should be like on the lookout like if someone has a super low hemoglobin we need to be keeping an eye out for blood loss and all that so they actually make you usually prep before because in the operating room they will ask you these questions you want to make sure you do have a decent understanding before you go but that's kind of what the next hour for me is going to consist of. And then I am going to go to sleep. On that note, you guys, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.